Hey everyone, Reflected here, and today I want to show you how to boost your performance in VR while flying the DCS F4U Corsair. I already have a VR optimization guide, check it out if you haven't. But now I'm going to show you two tricks that will boost your performance specifically flying the Corsair, especially in VR. I've been testing Angels of Okinawa, my upcoming Corsair campaign, a lot as I was building the missions. And I noticed that when I fly low over the islands on the Marianas map, I get very low FPS on my old laptop. Partly that's due to the fact that the World War II Marianas map is still new and it needs some further optimization. But the Corsair module was also a culprit. Fortunately, there are two easy fixes that will instantly increase your FPS. The first trick is to reduce or completely remove canopy reflections. For some reason in the Corsair, these are massive performance hugs, more so than in other modules. Open the settings tab in the launcher, scroll down to canopy reflections and move the slider down, preferably all the way. You also want to make sure global cockpit illumination is turned off. But the biggest win is the cockpit textures. When I complained to Mac 3 about performance, they asked me if I tried the 2K textures. The what? Apparently, if you open the special options menu, you can select what cockpit textures the Corsair should use. The default textures are 4K, which can be very taxing on your VRAM, especially in VR. But it's exactly there, in VR, that you don't really benefit from such high resolution textures. So you can select 2K all, 2K color only, and color and rough matte only. What does this mean? Well, each texture in DCS is more than just colors. There's a separate file called the rough matte that determines how shiny a surface is and whether it's metallic or non-metallic. That's what made things look like leather, shiny plastic or rusted metal. It's a real form of art and Magnitude did a terrific job with these textures. Probably the best part of the entire module. And then you have the normal map and so on. Bottom line is, just select 2K all. In VR, you won't notice the difference, but your graphics card will thank you for alleviating the load on the VRAM. And if you really want a great VR experience, I've got something else for you. This part is sponsored by Pimax. If you want to try playing DCS in VR with higher clarity and deeper immersion, and see how different it feels, check out the link in the description below. They've got a PC VR upgrade deal right now, so if you've owned any other headset, Quest, Reverb, whatever, just submit your old headset's proof of purchase and you unlock a special upgrade discount up to 100 bucks. You don't even have to send them your old headset. Pretty cool. If you're interested, click the submission access link in the description below for more details. Very important, if you do this, or even if it's your first headset purchase, don't forget to use my coupon code, REFLECTEDSIM. You get another 3% off and I get a commission, so it's a win-win. Alright, I hope this video helped. Now go ahead and practice that engine management and carrier landings because you're going to need it soon. See ya!